Jay, I'll, I'll show you the internet weather for the last, since last week and uh, what are the top ports and what trends we are seeing here. Okay. First up, uh, we have a top 10 most broad ports. Uh, there are not much changes compared to last week. As you can see, uh, the first is a 23 Telnet, 1433 SQL, 445 SMB, uh, Echo Request 8545, which is the one I want to talk a little bit more about that. Uh, RDP, SSH, 26. 26 is, uh, I believe it's um, similar to FTP, but it's also used by some sort of some um, Alta Vista firewalls. So it's interesting, I never seen that port come up on the top 10. Um, it was, as you can change in this, see here from the change, it's none to jump bomb in eight, eight positions from last week. And 8089 is used by Splunk Demon, and it is down actually. Yeah. And ADT is a regular one. Um, let's go through the, the fifth port here for 8545, which is used by Ethereum. Uh, which is well known, you know, another uh, miner. Mm -hmm. uh, here I'm showing the 365 days of uh, backbone traffic, how we are seeing the volumetrically. I mean, as you can see, uh, there was a huge spike like uh, at the beginning of the last year, or something like that. But as you can see, per much of the year, it was pretty stable. But I think uh, since a week or 10 days, it's kind of ramping up. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's because of the reason and the way our algorithm works. This has jumped up few places to the position number five. But as such, uh, uh, there's not much activity, but because of the way it was so stable for long, some long time, and suddenly it peaked up, it was reflecting in our top count. Okay. Uh, as you know, it's used for Ethereum, JSON, RPC. It's basically, that's how it provides the remote access or for you know, some actions to be performed on Ethereum. Uh, what else? This is a different view, the graph showing you know, how many Unix scanners or scan sources are seen on this specific port. Mm, okay. As we can see, there's not much uh, change except for you know, regular peaks happening for an uh, hour or two, uh, and then it basically tapering out. Like if you see from since, uh, end of March this year, yeah. at some regular intervals, there are a big spike in number of scanners and it's coming down. I think it's happening for a certain period of time. Yeah, it might be one particular very large botnet turning it on for a oh, yeah. period and then turning it Either that off. could be someone just scanning, you know, they regularly scan on regular schedule and grab the right. results and just go dormant again at the, like a cron job. Checking in, yeah. 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 Uh, as you can see here, there are not much activities. I mean, you can see at the peak, it is averaging around 30 to 45 mm -hmm. scan sources per hour. Mm -hmm. So it, I'm just showing it to say there's not really much increase, uh, any sort of like a similar attributes you can do to some botnet or something happening. Okay. But I think it seems uh, pretty obvious. It's it's stable at this point. Yeah. Uh, that's one thing I want to talk about. And uh, coming back here. Uh, I already told 8089 is related to Splunk D. Probably there's a little bit of scanning happening since a week or two uh, because uh, there were some news about um, some Y2K kind of bug uh, in yeah. uh, Splunk. Yep. Probably people are a little interested to see you know, what's happening. That's a picked interest. Other than that, I do not see any reason to be up here. And again, uh, this week actually it dropped uh, four point, you know, basically that means there's not much happening in that space here. Do you expect it to continue to drop? So say next week it would be out of the top 10 entirely? Um, um, it seems like it because yeah. it dropped so many points. It's, it's yeah. trending that way. Yep. Yeah. But it could change any time. You know? Yeah, you never know, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. uh, and another thing, let's move on to the top 10 most sources probing. In this case also, pretty much the top five, there are no changes at all. If you see from last week to this week, a 445, uh, 23, 14, 33, 80, 80, 80, this stayed the same. There are much deviation at all. Uh, but the sixth position is 5555, which is uh, ADB Android debug port. I'll talk a little bit about that one. 22 TCP, even though it jumped three positions, uh, there's not much change in the activity which I'm kind of skipping on that one, but I, I, I talk a little bit about the last one, the top 10 one, 8291 TCP. Okay, cool. Um, I, uh, this is Android debug uh, bridge, 
But even though it's used by Android Debug Bridge, I think uh, in this case, what we are seeing from our um, Honeypot data is it scans for Hawaii-based routers. Mm, okay. So there, but specifically, there's some exploit they're trying to use it. That's what actually happening. I think uh, it's pretty consistent, uh, but the, still we are seeing the scan of SIPs are uh, pretty much high compared to other ports. That's why we are seeing it. Um, and uh, another one is 8291, uh, which is a MicroTik port. Oh, MicroTik. Uh, yeah, MicroTik port. Uh, uh, I think uh, in my last thread track, I talked about a um, couple of vulnerabilities which can be daisy chained into providing backdoor access to you know, certain uh, MicroTik devices with certain versions. If somebody is not running the latest version, uh, like a series of four vulnerabilities can be chained to get a backdoor access. I think uh, in this case, probably they're still trying to look for uh, any 8291 TCP MicroTik devices. MicroTik has just kind of been in internet weather, in and out, uh, and it just doesn't seem to be going away.